Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel McGuire here. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the don'ts of UCI. We'll start with the don'ts. I'll do a do's video later, but just kind of what not to do uh, at the University of California Irvine if you're a transfer student or a first year or maybe a continuing student. So let's get to it. So first thing I could say is try not to take summer classes at the University of California Irvine due to its high cost. They claim pay for eight to save money, but you're still gonna pay around eight to $10,000 for two to three classes that you may need to take in the summer. Whereas a community college, you could be paying two to $300 and be able to get that same course requirement that can transition onto your degree works. Now you just have to make sure with your counselor that these GEs do transition over. But if you do have to take upper div courses that aren't offered at a community college, then you do unfortunately have to take those at the UC system, which are gonna be expensive, but just try and knock out as many GEs as you can at a community college if you do wanna kind of save time and save money in the long run. All right, so the second big don't is don't park outside your parking zone. So what I mean by this is when you do buy a parking pass, you can't just park anywhere on campus. You would think you can, but you can't. You have to park in your designated area. So if you're an engineering student, you could park in the engineering side, but you have to buy for that specific parking lot. You could buy a parking pass for the humanity side of campus or the sociology side of campus or the law side. You, you can buy parking passes all over the place, but you can only park in your designated zone between the hours of 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. And between the hours of 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., you can't park anywhere in the lots around campus. After 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, you can park anywhere around campus, but 8 to 3, you cannot park anywhere outside of your zone. If you do, you're going to get a ticket even though you have a parking pass, which is pretty insane if you ask me. That was kind of one of the dumbest things that I ever heard of. You know, you can't park outside of where you designated your parking zone to be to they do this to eliminate a lot of parking issues that you may have in more impacted zones so remember don't park outside your parking zone because you could get a ticket for that and you could get it waived the first time but just avoid that whole hassle in general all right so the third don't is don't miss your enrollment window by even a second or a minute when you know your enrollment window just set alarms get ready for it because the enrollment window for ge courses the ones that you really need like your sociologies or your math classes fill up like that it's just insane how quick they fill up and if you're even a minute or two late, you could have already missed out on a discussion you would have wanted to fit your schedule. And also with that, maybe make two or three different schedules because you may miss your window for a couple of minutes or if classes would fill up. So make sure you create two to three different schedules, but don't miss your enrollment window. That is what's really gonna try and save you so you can try and have the schedule you want and make the best of it. All right, so this fourth one might sound kind of naive, but don't blindly walk around campus. You know, you may be looking down at your phone and you just kind of walk in a bike zone and then you get hit by a bike or a skateboarder or somebody on a scooter. And then you or that person could get really hurt. I know I've heard of stories of people falling, people jumping out of the way, people getting hit. So really try to avoid just walking in really high populous areas, not looking around where you're going because you could get hit or bump into somebody and then you drop something and then it kind of turns into this whole fiasco. So just believe it or not, just don't walk around campus just looking down at your phone. Just Keep a blur, especially when you're on ring road, especially inner ring road where the bikes and the scooters and the skateboarders are all going around. All right, so the last kind of don't for UC Irvine is don't feel alone. Don't feel that you're in this by yourself and you can't really talk to people. You can't go to people and ask for help. You know, a lot of the professors on campus are there to help you. A lot of the organizations and clubs are there to kind of network and help you out to really build a community that you can kind of pull resources from and engagements. So I really recommend is don't feel alone. Whenever you kind of feel alone, especially at a big UC system, your first year out of high school or a community college, the campus is so big and there's so many students, you kind of just think you're a lost pond and you just kind of want to get through it and then you're out and just kind of go your way but just really try and get engaged and i could really recommend just go to clubs meetings it doesn't hurt to meet people it doesn't hurt to network so yeah just really try and get involved that's one thing i could say all right so that's it for the don'ts of uci i hope you enjoyed let me know if you guys uh, found it informative in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let me know what you guys think and thank you for watching